Hi, welcome to Ken's Games Collection. And I just want to touch on the news about PlayStation won't be releasing any major first party games before March 2025. That's a long time to wait for some of their first party exclusives, which they've always been known for. Um, you know, you can go through, look at the report on what's going on. But the bottom line is that somewhere in their release schedule, they really stuffed up with not having anything for the, over the next 12 months. So up until this point, Sony's had a really good run with its first party games, going right back to the release of the PlayStation 5 with Ratchet and & Clank. And it just seems to me that Insomniac has really carried the PS5 with uh, Ratchet & Clank, two Spider-Man games. They're working on a Wolverine game, which isn't going to come out probably for another two years. But we have also seen a bunch of remasters from the Uncharted collection, Last of Us, why are they doing that with The Last of Us Part 2 and Part 1? I don't know, but we've had that sort of stuff happening as well. And this is where I want to touch on with Naughty Dog. Now, Jim Ryan, when the PlayStation 5 was released, he was going to go all in on multiplayer live services games. And I think there was something like 12 online games in development the story goes that Bungie went to Naughty Dog Studios to have a look at this Last of Us multiplayer game. They weren't too impressed. They gave some feedback. And because of that, the multiplayer game from Naughty Dog has been cancelled altogether. They've been working on this for quite a number of years. So for me, I look at this gap over the next 12 months with the first party developers to fall on Naughty Dog's shoulders, so to speak. So hear me out. They have worked their asses off on a f multiplayer game that's been scrapped when they could have been working on an amazing first-party single-player experience. This is what we know Naughty Dog for. Now, what could have that been? That could have been The Last of Us Part 3, which I think they're going to start working on now after all these years. It's Don't forget, this is like five years now in the uh, PlayStation's life cycle. We're at the fifth anniversary of this machine, and we still haven't seen anything from Naughty Dog Studios. So The Last of Us Part 3 coming out this year would have been perfect for the release schedule for the PS5. If it wasn't The Last of Us Part 3, could Naughty Dog have been working on a new Uncharted game? Could they revisit Jack and Daxter, which is something that I've been wanting to see over the last 20 odd years for a new Jack and Daxter game, but this is that's just wistful thinking. Or even a new IP from Naughty Dog. With the PlayStation 1, we had Crash Bandicoot. PlayStation 2, it was Jack and Daxter. PlayStation 3, Nathan Drake. And halfway through the life cycle, or towards the end, we had The Last of Us. Then it carried over on to the PlayStation 4, with more Uncharted games and Last of Us. A new IP from Naughty Dog would have been amazing, but I guess we're going to be left with The Last of Us Part 3, right towards the end of the life cycle for PS5. That's crazy. So now over the next 12 months, Sony is going to rely heavily on third-party publishers and developers to make up this shortfall. We will have Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming out soon. That's going to be a major title for PlayStation. And with some other exclusive titles like Stellar Blade and Rise of the Ronnie, that should help out, but... I don't think it's going to create a lot of sales for the PlayStation 5 and even Sony has admitted that. We have no idea what Sucker Punch is working on. It's probably a Ghost of Tsushima 2. Um, I don't know what Santa Monica is doing. We don't know what Gorilla is doing. So hopefully with their next state of play, they'll be able to make some announcements on what is actually in development for 2025 onwards by that stage we may see the uh, development of playstation 5 games begin to wrap up with the playstation 6 coming on in maybe 2027 we do know the xbox's plan over the next couple of years we still don't know what nintendo is doing with their next console if it will come out in 2024 or 2025 their sales are going through the roof so i can't see them wanting to um, 
take the chance with a new console just yet until they see the decline of more sales. But that will happen. We know that with Nintendo, they're going to be like one and a half generations behind with their hardware, but they're going to have some amazing software released for their next console, whatever that may be. I'm not going to call it the Switch 2 because they call it, they had the Wii, which was successful, but the Wii U was a disaster. So I don't think they're going to go with the Switch 2 name for some reason. But yeah, it's interesting times. I mean, coming up to five years of PlayStation 5, it's hard to believe I'm sitting here recording this, looking at all my PS5 games that I own, and I've been so happy with this system so far, and have nothing new from um, Sony's first party developers over the next 12 months or so. Yeah, it is a big deal for a lot of people. But I still got a backlog to get through. I still got to get through Horizon uh, Forbidden West. I haven't really touched that one. I want to replay the Uncharted games on the PS5. I wish I haven't done neither. And I still haven't played The Last of Us Part 2. And I don't really want to. It's not something that I was really into. But at some stage I may do it. And the same with Spider-Man 2. I want to get that game, but it's too expensive. And I, would, I want to get it when it goes down in, in price. And that's being said is the same for uh, The Ghost of Tsushima. I want to get that on PlayStation 5. I didn't get it on PS4, but that game is still selling for $109 here in Australia. And it hasn't dropped. I want it to drop down to about $30 before I pick it up. I'm a bit of a, uh, you know, I, I just don't want to spend that kind of money at the moment on video games. And the same with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'll probably hang off getting that, although I really want to play it day one. I'm going to hang off until that drops in price from Square Enix. I've got tons of games to play on the PlayStation 5 for the next 12 months until we know what the hell's going on. So leave a comment down below. Are you really concerned? There's a lot of people out there that are. I'm a Sony fanboy, but... I'm not overly concerned like a lot of people are. I still got a lot of great games to get through. So leave a comment down below and um, yeah, take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.